Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Valencia Anderson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, September 29th, 2021. Scholars, let's get ready for our Brain Break segment. Now let's go to Randy for his Hispanic Heritage segment. Thank you, Valencia. Jennifer Lynn Lopez, also known by her nickname, J. Lo, is an American singer, actress, producer, and dancer. In 1991, Lopez got her first leading role in the 1997 Selena biopic of the same name. Lopez became the first Latin actress to earn over $1 million for a film. She went on to star in Anaconda and Out of Sight and established herself as the highest paid Latin actress in Hollywood. Today she is taking over the world of TikTok and created her own challenge, the J. Lo Challenge. J. Lo is such a great person to represent all Latin actors. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you Randy, sports fans. Olympic sprinting legend and the fastest man alive, Usain Bolt, retired from track and field back in 2017, but announced this week that he will make a brief return to the track for the Vitality Running World Cup. This is an event held around the world that literally anyone can participate in, and he is the captain for Team Jamaica. The best part is, it's a digital event, so you can join Team Jamaica from anywhere in the world. I know I will, and I hope to see you on the team. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is cheeseburger, hamburger bun, sun sauce veggie juice, french fries, orange juice, mustard, ketchup, and your choice of milk. Students, please let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, the fall festival is on October 30th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Tickets are now being sold. I can't wait to see all your amazing costumes. Scholars, make sure to join our Hispanic Heritage Month Schoology page for students and teachers, the course code you use to join at the bottom of the screen. Calling all super patriots, join us on our mission to meet our iReady goals. You need a minimum of 25 past lessons for reading and math. The top three students in kindergarten to second, third to fifth, and sixth to eighth who meet their goal in both reading and math will be celebrated. Today is our Student of the Month ceremony. Congrats to all of our students of the month. Patriots, let's get a delicious treat by visiting Mini Donut World from October 1st to October 31st. Make sure you mention Renaissance Charter School at Pines. All sales go towards helping our school. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with David. Thank you, Valencia. Hey, Patriots. It looks like today's weather's going to be 88 degrees Fahrenheit as well as partly cloudy skies. No rain today. Finally. Now, another weather news going on in Greece. A 6.0 magnitude earthquake struck all over the continent at... 12.17 a.m. Then out of nowhere, the ground started shaking. Walls began to collapse and cars went flying. It affected many countries. We sent out our best wishes to help them all. Now, let's go to Angelique for today's birthdays. Thank you, David. Today's birthday boys and girls are Victoria Bria, Brian Garcia, Tatiana Perez, Tamara Sheffield, Tamara Khan, Garfield Johnson, and Katherine March. Happy birthday!
crew, Mr. Richardson and Mr. Santiago. And we want to know, how do you both incorporate Hispanic heritage into your classrooms? Yeah, so we incorporate Hispanic heritage by uh, talking about Hispanic artists and their influence on the music that we listen to and love. Yes, and, and, and tying it to the, the various genres, showing how um, the different genres influence the Hispanic uh, music. For example, jazz is very heavily influenced in Latin music. So, yeah, that's pretty much a little snippet of what we do. Do you guys have any favorite Latin artists that you listen to on a regular basis? Um, I am a big Celia Cruz fan. Um, Celia Cruz being a Cuban-born uh, singer um, who came to Miami, had a huge influence on um, you know the music and even the Cuban culture here. Um, so I say she has to be one of my favorites. True, and me being um, me being of Puerto Rican descent, I naturally you know I'm, I gravitate more towards and being percussionist, so I gravitate to more towards uh, Tito Puente, Tito Puente, and as far as singers, uh, Mark Anthony, he's always been one of my favorites. Suavemente. That's Elvis Crespo. Oh, Elvis Crespo. <laughs> Wrong well, Wrong they've singer. agreed to play something for us today to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Ms. Shadid, Ms. Barrow, Ms. Annalie, Ms. Blanc, Ms. I am Dequa, Ms. Moraz, Ms. Cavalita, Ms. Stone, Ms. Samuel, Ms. Gonzalez, Ms. McLean, and Ms. Borth. You got the correct answer to yesterday's trivia qu question, which was, what is the largest living animal? The correct answer is the blue whale. Now, teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. Which is, which U.S. president was the first to win a Nobel Peace Prize? Teachers, please send your answers to pinesrenaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday, and don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and board focus. Have a great day.